Jeff Begays is tracking this investigation, of course, from Washington, he joins us now. And Jeff, what have investigators been able to learn from the gunman's wife? Well, she has been cooperating. She told investigators, according to our sources, that she tried to talk him out of the attack or whatever he was planning on doing. Uh, so she is talking to investigators. She's been interviewed twice, uh, took a polygraph test. Uh, but she could possibly face charges. We are hearing now uh, that prosecutors are considering charging her of having knowledge of this attack. There is no evidence uh, right now that we know of that shows that she tried to contact police to warn them that he was planning something. Jeff, as they again look to establish a motive, there have been uh, many strands to this investigation. One of them uh, have been, again, reports from many eyewitnesses inside the club that they had seen Omar Mateen there before, perhaps in a capacity beyond a mere uh, casing of uh, the premises, if you will. Also reports that he had uh, uh, profiles uh, that he'd established on certain gay dating apps. Uh, as a part then of this investigation in searching for a motive, what do we know uh, with regard to that? Well, you have to look into whether his sexuality played a role in this. Uh, as you noted, Josh, there are people who say that he was a regular. Uh, in that club. And so, uh, yeah, they're looking at the, uh, whether he was a, a user of gay dating apps, uh, whether there was some sort of conflict between, uh, in his mind, between his religion and his, and his sexuality. Um, but there are obviously several factors, factors here that are bubbling up to the surface. Uh, investigators are sorting through it all and they're reaching out to as many people as they can as they try to pick, put together this profile of this killer and what motivated him. So uh, it is still relatively early in this investigation for them to assign a motive here because there is still this muddled picture of what was in his head and it's hard to figure out uh, because obviously he's not around to explain to investigators what, what he was thinking. However, as we know now, he was, he was stating uh, his intentions uh, uh, in a way on Facebook, the 911 calls, uh, and so, and then there's also what he was talking about with his wife, and, and that's why it's so important for investigators to reach out to other people to see what he was thinking uh, in the days and hours leading up to this attack. Certainly constructing a complex and complicated profile to be sure. Jeff Begays uh, from Washington, we thank you.